Now, we've talked about brands when it relates to companies and businesses, but now it's time to talk about your personal brand. Personal branding is the conscious and intentional effort to create and influence public perception of yourself by positioning you as an authority in your industry, elevating your credibility, and differentiating yourself from the competition. In other words, it's developing yourself into a public figure and brandable asset like Oprah or Elon Musk. Developing your personal brand is something you already do when you've applied for jobs. Your resume is your professional brand on paper and is used to determine whether or not you are attractive to a company. Now that's changed to your LinkedIn profile and also how you represent yourself online and in person. Why this is important when it comes to branded content is that your personal brand is usually your unique selling proposition or a special sauce that differentiates yourself from the competition. If you're a creator that already has a following, you understand that your personal brand is attached to your online persona and profile. If you're just starting out or just someone who wants to create, establishing your personal brand through your content and in-person interactions is something that some people take years to develop or pay lots of money for someone else to develop. So just know that the values you uphold and the image of yourself that you want people to see is the crux of a personal brand. A brand also wants to see how your content is different from others. So you need to create a reel and portfolio to show your work. Brands want to work with people who are experienced, respected, and recognized in their field. So you should create a highlight reel of your best work and a site with your best content. If you're a creator with a following, you can show your social media and YouTube profiles. You also have an option of creating a sizzle reel or compilation of your best work. So an executive at a company can look at that rather than trying to navigate through your page. You can also create a portfolio page on a website or a pitch deck with your best pieces of content that you're either proud of, represents your brand the best, or has the most engagement and views. This way, you can show brands your best work rather than them watching that one piece of content that wasn't your best work. If you don't have a following and just want to create content for brands, you should put together a reel and portfolio so brands can see your talent. For reels, try to keep it short. With shorter viewing times on social media and a lot of enticing and eye-catching content to compete with, you can't expect someone to watch a five-minute video. Stick to one to three minutes so a business executive can watch it while they're on break in between meetings. Also, know the intention of the reel and what it's supposed to represent when it comes to your skills. If you're a video editor, show your editing skills. And if you're a cinematographer, then show your best shots. The right music can also make or break a reel. Assess the content and decide how you want your audience to feel while watching and choose music that will correspond to that content. Watch other reels in your industry and see which ones have the most success and model your reel after that. Also have a call to action or CTA to provide your audience with the next step. Include contact information at the end of your reel like your website, email, or phone number. As for a portfolio page, some brands want to see a full video rather than a highlight reel because you can't assess whether or not a creator can just be good at editing a two minute reel but have horrible content. This can also be your social media profiles or digital platforms like Behance. Although having a website is much better since you can own and control the content. Figure out what you are showing off and choose the top six to 10 projects and pieces to show off. Keep it simple and easy to find by creating an easy to find link on your website. Also, remember that it isn't all about the work. So include part of your story or values in your website biography so brands can resonate with your background and match your digital portfolio to your personal brand. And with that biography, focus on your personal experiences and your personal values. This is really up to you and how you want to represent yourself. Just remember who you're targeting when it comes to brands and how you think they would respond to reading your bio. Now that you have your personal brand, reel, and portfolio in place, it's time to find these brands and get them attracted to you.